Hi everyone, welcome back to Kavita's Sugar and Spice. Today we are going to make rice patiri, also known as nice patiri, which is an authentic Malabar dish. It's a very thin pancake or you can call it a rice roti. Great combination with all those curries that goes well with chapati or naan. So let's start cooking. In order to make our uh, rice patri, I'm going to use two cups of very fine rice flour. I'm going to roast it first. If you have patri powder, you can use that. This is the regular flour. Once the flour is roasted, let's take uh, three cups of water into this pan. I'm using the same cup that I used for uh, measuring the rice flour. So. It's uh, one and a half cups for one cup of um, flour. That is the ratio. So we are using three cups for uh, two cups of uh, three cups of water for two cups of flour. Once the water is about to boil, we can add one teaspoon of uh, salt and one teaspoon of ghee or uh, coconut oil. It's your choice. So I'm using ghee here. Once our water boils, add the flour little by little, reduce the flame, you can allow it to boil for 2 minutes and gently start mixing it. The water will absorb into the flour very fast, you have to continuously stir and make sure the water covers the entire flour. We can turn the stove off and continue to mix it well. This is very important. At this point, the entire flour should be uh, coated with water. There shouldn't be any dry lumps. So, use a strong ladle Okay, once you mix it, we are going to keep it, keep this uh, closed, covered for 5 minutes. And we'll come back and uh, we have to make it into a soft dough. Keep it closed. After 5 minutes, transfer it into a bowl. And now you have to start mixing it with your hands. It will be very hot, but uh, this is something you have to do uh, while it's hot. So you can rinse your hands in between. So mix it until you get a smooth and soft dough. After a few minutes of mixing, this is how it will look. You need a soft, nice, soft, smooth dough like this. Look at that. So now we are going to make, it's still a little hot, lemon size balls. There shouldn't be any crack or anything. So make it into a nice smooth ball like that. So I have made uh, uh, the entire dough into all these balls. We can keep this covered while we make the patris. Next what we are going to do is, we are going to uh, use this chapati presser or tortilla presser to make the patri. I am using a parchment paper or a cookie sheet here. We add a bit of uh, rice flour. Let me keep one patri here. A little bit of rice flour. Take the other parchment paper and press it. Now we have perfect round and thin patri here. If you want to get it thinner, you can use a rolling pin and uh, make it thinner. I think experts may not even use this uh, presser. They might just roll it with their hands. Now we can transfer this into a uh, frying pan.
Our patiri is getting uh, puffed up. We are cooking it in a medium flame. We are not adding any extra oil or anything. Give it a gentle press. Remember if you don't have a, a patiri presser, you can roll it like the regular chapati. There's only one thing that you have to keep in mind is do not use, of course you need to use rice flour to roll it otherwise it will uh, stick but do not use too much rice flour because uh, then the patri will become brown. There you go, our uh, nice patri or our rice patri is ready. Our thin, soft and tasty rice patri or nice patri is ready here. Do try it. Um, the best combination will be chicken curry or some kurma or something. Let me know if you like it. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.